Mr. Chair, and I, I want to extend my appreciation, gratitude to uh, Representative uh, Lucy Dathan for her uh, interim role and in, in, uh, being the messenger. Uh, I, I hope she recognizes my utmost respect for her. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Republicans and Democrats and our governor all, all agree that health care costs needs to be better managed. No doubt about it. The current rate of increases are absolutely unsustainable. And indeed, all interested parties have offered their solutions. The Republicans in Senate Bill 1006, which will have a public hearing after this vote, uh, in collaborating with federal, state, and businesses, look to provide solutions on reinsurance, prescription drug costs, benchmarking, and an audit process for financial and operational transparency. We have the governor who proposed House Bill 6447, which we just had a public hearing on Tuesday, which I found incredibly informative and offered many different perspectives that made me think. And it used assessments or attacks for reinsurance. It looked at benchmarking as an extension of his current executive order. It looked at a very innovative but somewhat controversial cost containment on prescription drugs. And in our dialogue with the government, with the governor's office, there was a receptiveness to transparency and accountability. And now we have Controller Lembo and the Democratic Senate Bill 842, which we will vote on today. And it is a alternative vision, a alternative solution of a state management of health insurance to lower cost. We'll have that debate often. But what I am remiss is the fact that not one plan is perfect, but rather, should we not be working as a committee of cognizance on insurance issues? That shouldn't we work to create a bill that we can take pride in and not constantly say it's a work in progress? Should we not incorporate the best of ideas to craft a bill that we can all be proud of in moving forward to addressing the, the issue at hand that we all agree on. To say that I'm disappointed and deeply concerned about the rush vote on this of this committee on Senate Bill 84, A42 is an understatement. You know, I, I, I do question the good chair's statement on good faith effort, because I'll be on record in saying that since the substitute bill came out two hours before today's meeting, and me getting a copy as a ranking member late last night. I've had no discussion on substitute language. I've had no screening of this said bill. I've had no input whatsoever in regards to the promotion and the possible changes that are afoot in this bill. So I, I, I don't know what good faith means and I don't know what bipartisan means, but I can tell you on behalf of the Senate Republicans, we have not been involved. That being said, I, I, I apologize from my motion about this because as I said, and I wanna echo the chair's statement, this is the biggest single bill before us in this committee. And this rush to cast a vote without getting the best of all ideas and putting our stamp as a committee of cognizance to put forth as a document that says we approve, that we joint favorably approve this is misleading. I, I, I gotta tell you, you know, we got a substitute bill here today and we requested a recess and I requested it till 10 o'clock and I appreciate the chair's indulgence on it. But to be honest with you, when we sat down as a caucus, we were looking to read the bill, all 58 pages of it. For us to have less than two hours to read substitute language of such a single policy of importance is a short-sighted rush to decision-making. Why are we not as the proud Committee of Cognizance on Insurance look to present to the public, the best possible product. But instead, we're choosing one better than the other two. 
the fact that we are voting on something without accepting ideas of the public hearings and input of other parties is a tremendous disservice to what we call transparency, to due process, and a representative government. So I, 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 I will hold my judgment and listen to other people, but I have to believe that my frustration that you hear is not only reflected by Republican members of this committee, but perhaps even some committee members who in their comments may say, I don't like some parts of this bill, but I'm going to vote yes to push it forward. It's a disservice to our role as the role of cognizance on insurance that we're pushing out an incomplete product that does not incorporate the best of all ideas to an important solution. So again, I, I thank you for the opportunity to voice my very, very um, um, deep concerns about this process. And I hope that people will see the idea and perhaps uh, vote no so we can continue to work on this product moving forward. Uh, it, 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 we can make a good product better, but we're choosing not to in a rush to judgment. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Long. And uh, if any disrespect was uh, uh, picked up by, by you or uh, by a fellow ranking member, uh, certainly none was intended on, on our part. And we received the substitute language. We shared it with you uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, and uh, certainly welcome the input from your members uh, and from your side of the aisle. And if you have good ideas, I think a good idea has uh, many authors. Uh, and so uh, we will welcome your input uh, and I'm sure we'll get some uh, today. So uh, thank you, uh, Senator Rahm. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Rahm. If I can follow up on that, I, I, I appreciate getting the substitute bill last night before the committee members. But as I repeat it again, I've had no discussion, no screening, no input, on how to make an important policy bill better. So I, I, I want to be on the record and make that clear. I think the other part that I want to make clear in this, uh, Senator Lesser, and, and, and to the public that may be watching, we have another hearing on Senate Bill 1006. If we're truly genuine about putting the best product forward, then perhaps we should have waited till after the hearing to get all the ideas. And I will share with you the fact that I just received a letter or an, a, 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 an email from the Teamsters Union raising significant concern about Senate Bill 842 with the Taft Hartley affiliated organizations is again, deep concerns in regards to why this rudge to judgment. Are we looking to hide something to push something through quickly? I hope not. But nevertheless, Senator Lesser, I, 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 I do want to point out when you talk about good faith, I, 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 I raise the question to that from my own personal experience. And number two, I want to repeat again, this may be the single biggest bill before this committee. And for a committee of cognizance that should take great pride in the product that we push out, that we joint favorably give our seal of approval if it continues to be a work in progress, why are we rushing to have a vote today? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Wong. And uh, Representative Wood, I uh, apologize. I did not see your hand up earlier, but I, I recognize